Britain's Supreme Court has ruled that WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange should be extradited to Sweden, where he'll face questioning over allegations of sexual assault. The court ruled in favour of Assange's extradition, five votes to two. His last legal right of appeal now lies with the European Court of Human Rights, which in the past has delayed high-profile extraditions for years on end. After an 18-month legal battle, Britain's highest court has ruled that Julian Assange should be extradited to Sweden, where he'll face allegations of sexual misconduct. The court's decision rested on a controversial legal technicality. The prosecutors did not have the authority to issue an arrest warrant. However, the court has found that the warrant was enforceable. The request for Mr Assange's extradition has been lawfully made and his appeal against extradition is accordingly dismissed. The saga began back in 2010, where it's alleged that Assange had non-consensual sex with a woman while she was asleep and sexually assaulted another. Assange has always maintained his innocence, and many of his loyal supporters suggest that the claims are nothing but a fabrication and a way of silencing the outspoken political activist. The 40-year-old Australian has been under house arrest for over a year under strict bail conditions, but this latest decision was his last avenue of appeal in the United Kingdom. However, it's the looming legal stoush with the United States that could prove to be Assange's toughest fight yet, with suggestions that the US is building its extradition case against him, where he would then face charges of espionage and conspiracy. If the Americans want him, they should go through an Australian court process uh, and not a Swedish one. And that's, I think, the real challenge for Bob Carr eventually and the Australian government. But the Australian government says it's seen no evidence to support the theory. We've no advice that the US has an intention to extradite Mr Assange. I, I think uh, the Prime Minister should go on the front foot and say in public that we are telling the United States government that we will not tolerate his prosecution in the US on espionage or computer hacking or whatever they are planning to launch against him. For now, though, Assange's last legal avenue is an appeal to the European Court of Human Rights in Strasbourg. But if his case is rejected, he will have no choice but to fly to Stockholm and face questioning over the allegations.